Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to talk about um, what I'm doing right now and also share something very important with you that could, could help you a lot in your life. First of all, I'm just about ready to launch a new website called Shedding Shackles. And uh, I'm really excited about it because you know what? Shedding shackles is very appropriate. Most people are tied to the past, held down by the past. They never get past it. See, most of us had experienced traumas. When we were little children, we experienced traumas. And when we were teens and all through life, actually. But it goes all the way back to childhood. And somehow we, we never got past those traumas. They keep coming back to haunt us. And a lot of times we don't even know Sometimes we know, okay, other times they're buried and they're affecting us and we don't know why um, we're being affected as we are. It's because we were traumatized and trauma goes very deep for human beings. And uh, I just made a new video, uh, which is going to also be put up on the, uh, on the site uh, around the time of this one. It's about the, my new Shedding Shackles um, website. And I go into depth about, uh, about the trauma and how it affects our present. I, talk, I go into depth. You know, actually, I only, it's only like 16 minutes long. But in 16 minutes, I can cover a lot. And I did. It's a very nice video. I'd like for you to watch it. And it's, it's done with slideshows because... I did the audio. Uh, I didn't have on my nice shirt and tie. I was just sitting this morning. I, oh, the reason I did it this morning with without my nice shirt and tie on is because I was checking out, I was uh, trying out this new headset that I got. You notice I have a new headset. It's the ClearChat, Logitech ClearChat. And, uh, you know, it kind of sticks out, on, makes my ears stick out. Uh, but the quality seems a little better than the other one. Uh, the other one, I've been having trouble with it. And so this one, I think, will be uh, will be better. I hope it is. But anyway, I was trying out the new headset, and I got started. And before you knew it, before you know it, I was talking about something really good that could be very helpful to you to understand how how it came to pass that, that you are... Uh, continu continuously haunted by the past. Okay. So those that's what I'm doing. I have a new, new headset. I'm going to start a new website. And, um, and so I think that'll be good. Because trauma is what we humans uh, suffer. It began in the Garden of Eden. See, we humans are light-created beings. We were created by God in His image and likeness for a very special purpose. And we 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 are to to grow in His presence. We were meant to grow in God's presence, receive His approval. He would be our Father, and we His people. And we would look to Father for advice and for guidance and direction. And we would live in His sustaining presence, by which we would be nourished and enlightened and sustained. And it would be beautiful. See, that's the way it's supposed to be. And it, and it can be, incidentally, again, for you. But the whole, but the human, but Adam fell from, from God's grace and got kicked out of paradise and ended up in a jungle hell. And then he changed, see, just as if you were to take a plant, a beautiful plant that loves the sun and loves the warmth and the light from the sun. See, light is like enlightenment and warmth is like uh, love. And the plant receives light and warmth from the sun. And it, it, 
it and it um, pro it prospers but if you were to take that lot that plant and put it in a closet away from the light away from the sun it very quickly begin to uh, deteriorate well that's what's happened to human beings so we have a, a substitute life a fallen life an animal life see we have an an we have an animal life where we have life force a certain amount of life force that we're given and then we glean uh, life force from our interactions with others or they take it from us but it is in this um, this give and take of life force uh, and in sustaining ourselves by working by the sweat of our brow to to eat food see that we have this substitute temporary life that leads to death just like animals but you can sense that, that you can sense that we aren't animals that we were meant for something much greater than just living and dying like a like an animal so with this temporary animal life and only a certain number of years and a certain amount of energy we need to use those years that we have and that energy to find the secret to eternal life to refine the father to refine his uh, his presence and then to live in his presence and become regenerated renewed regenerated see so you see how everything that goes wrong you can see how how many things go wrong from the time the child is little until he becomes an adult a lot of things go very much wrong with with him and in his being and those things have to be repaired so it's like a computer you have to do a system restore sometimes a, com a complete system restore and a virus scan okay and you start all over back to the default settings with a clean slate well something like that we 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 uh, we need but only god can do it only god can do it see one time christ said he said with man it would be impossible but with god all things are possible so God can restore a person. So that's what trauma is all about. A father who wasn't there for you. A mom who was witchy or bitchy. Other kids that were mean and cruel. And then there was tease and there was rejection. And there was pressure. Ambition pressure. Study pressure. Conformity pressure. Drug pressure. Sex pressure. Performance pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay. And a lot of other bad, a lot of other things that deform us, and change us to become a shell of what we once were. Now living in this new environment of, uh, of pressure and cruelty and shallowness and meanness, see? we become conformed to it. But some of us are not happy with what we become. See, we, we start to become like, just like the other people that we once hated, hated. see? So we cry out, and our soul cries out to God silently, and then he, he answers. And he, he answers by giving us light. Then we begin to see and understand. Okay. Then there's a whole long assembly line of things that have gone wrong that need to be uh, fixed. And once again, only God can do it. So it's done effortlessly. There's nothing you have to do. Oh, sure, you can change your, your your lifestyle will change see everything will change people who you once thought were friends now you'll see they're not your friends and people who you didn't know were your friends you'll they become your true friends and the things that used to you know the smoking and the alcohol and drugs and the, the things that you used to need to maintain your hypnotic trance and to hide from god's light and hide from truth so you won't you just won't need them anymore and they'll begin to give you up you won't have to do anything they'll just give you up 
and then you'll see you uh, uh, things from the past will will be brought to your attention in in an orderly fashion in a, in in in, a, in 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 God's due time, not too much, a little at a time, every day a little. You'll see that you hated your mom and hated your dad and resented your brother and that you were, you know, selfish with your wife or husband. You you'll see all those things. And it's a little painful. It can be sometimes very painful, but it's it's a brief pain, and you don't mind it because you're seeing you're wrong. You're seeing it in the light of in God's light, and you know that He's there showing you. You know that He's there showing you, so that you can understand, and so then you are unburdened. unburdened. See, all these things from the past, you become unburdened and become progressively free to live in a beautiful, blessed present. Okay? And then begin to discover of God's great handiwork, the universe, and discover of Him, and marvel at His creation, and marvel at, at, at Him, and His glory, and His mercy, and His kindness. See? And yes, you'll also marvel at how people can be so uh, misled but then you see, you won't hate people anymore because you'll see how they're controlled, how they're not living their own life, how they're in a, in a trance, how they're lost sheep. They don't know what they're doing, so you won't hate them anymore. See, and you'll be unburdened from all this hate that you had and resentment and judgment. See, so all these wonderful things can happen. So you see, the traumas eventually they become like in the distant past, almost as if they never happened. See, almost as if they never even happened. Once you see them, you understand in God's light. And you see your part in the, the past traumas, which was usually resenting. See, that's how you made things worse, was by resenting. That's all you, but that's all you knew. You didn't know, you didn't know how to cope with anything other than running and hiding or, you know, hanging out with friends and trying to and smoking marijuana and see and resenting those people who were cruel or mean or, or, or your parents who weren't the dad who wasn't there for you all that's all you knew is was to resent so you, you didn't know any better or you did know better but you couldn't help it but now as an adult with god's light now in your life well now it's a, it's a whole new ball game see now you have understanding and you begin to be patient and when you're patient with others and you don't resent others, you'll find you can also be patient with yourself. Okay? So a lot of good good things. All, it's all good. Isn't that what they say? It's all good. Okay? Once you start to walk with God, discover His light. My name is Roland.